Hello boys and girls, nice to see you again. Well today I'm going to read a story about a dragon going to school. It says little dragons love to learn. And the story's called When a Dragon Goes to School, written by Carol Hart, pictures by Rosalind Beardshaw. Let's have a look inside. It looks like a great story. When a dragon goes to school. And look, that looks like the dragon, perhaps at, at school already. When a dragon hears us say, Hooray, we're off to school today. Does she refuse to come inside or try to run away and hide? Why, no, dragons don't do that. A dragon scampers through the gate, then waves goodbye. She's never late. She shakes the raindrops from her wings, then takes off all her outdoor things and hangs them nicely and tidily. That's just how dragons are, you see. And after she has said hello, a dragon knows just where to go. She sits down in her special place, a dragon smile across her face. She's ready to begin the day. These things are just a dragon's way. Then when it's time to paint and draw, does this young dragon use a paw to decorate her little chair? or toss the crayons in the air? Why, no, dragons don't do that. A dragon hands the paper out. She doesn't make a mess or shout. She counts the pencils, one, two, three, then draws a rainbow carefully and paints it red and green and blue. All dragons love bright things, do you? At lunch, a dragon's polite and never takes too big a bite. This small, kind darling saves a space and extra lunchtime snacks in case a friend would like a tasty treat. Yes, dragons really are that sweet. But in the playground, does she whine or hog the trike and shout out, mine? Does this small dragon play too rough or march off in a grumpy huff? Why, no, dragons don't do that. A dragon shares the outdoor toys with other little girls and boys. Her dragon dance is so much fun. She always friends with everyone who wants to join her, her dragon romp. Would you enjoy a dragon stomp? When splashing in the water tray, this little dragon laughs away. And if her playmates are upset because their clothes are getting wet, she'll help them tie their apron strings. All dragons do such thoughtful things. But if the day feels overlong, that's when a dragon might go wrong. So tidy up the classroom, then get comfy in the reading den and lose yourselves inside a book. This dragon loves a story. Look! At home time, does a dragon shout and try to get the books back out? Or growl and howl with all her might while clinging to the teacher tight? Why, no, dragons don't do that. A dragon knows the day must end, so says goodbye to every friend. She wraps a scarf around her throat and finds her book bag and her coat, then skips out to her family. How perfect can a dragon be? And if she roars along the street and stamps her little dragon feet, more school, more school, you'll hear her call. Well, she is a dragon after all. <laughs> Look, here are some other beautiful stories. And there's the back cover with the dragon saying hello to the teacher. And here's the back cover and the front cover. And here's the front cover with the dragon sat in the classroom with her friends and the dragons being very kind and well behaved. Well done, baby dragon. Well, I wonder if you have a dragon at your school. You might be very lucky if you have. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.